Hello and welcome. I am Raipur Shah and our today's topic is projection of planes. And we'll be learning about triangle, circle and semicircle as our plane. So let us begin. So in projection of plane, plane figures are our objects. So what is usually asked in the problem? So we need to draw the projection of these planes means the front view and top view in stage 1, stage 2 and in stage 3. So what will be given in the problem? So there are three data which must be given in any of your problems. First, description of the plane, like dimensions, size and shape of an object must be given. Second, the resting condition of the plane, that means resting on HP or BP must be given, which means resting on a shorter edge, longer edge, corner or side must be given. And finally, in which manner this position with respect to HP and BP must be given? So, inclination of its surfaces with one of the reference plane will be given and the inclination of one of the edges with the another reference plane must be given. So, in this case, your plane must be inclined with HP and BP both. So, let us understand it better by solving one of the examples. So, our first object is triangle. As you can see, try means 3. So we are having uh, this object having the 3 of the sides or having the 3 angle is known as a triangle. So we can have a different types of triangles. So let us understand the examples based on this triangle. So our example number first, uh, problem number 1. A 30 degree, 60 degree set square of the longest side 100 mm long is in BP and 30 degree inclined to HP while its surface is 45 degree inclined to V. Draw its projection. So here our uh, element is what? 30 degree, 60 degree triangle with the given dimensions and it is resting in VP. So we should draw this triangle in VP in such a way that its longest side should rest on VP. So let us start with the drawing. So first let us draw this XY line first. Then after, as we said that the square square of longer side 100 mm long is in BP, that means we should draw one side which is longest which is 100 mm on the left hand side into VP or you can say vertically into your VP. So let us draw triangle in such a way that its longest side 100 mm it is on the left hand side into your drawing sheet or it is vertically as you can see. So your vertical side is of 100 mm long. Then after what we need to do, the dimensions of your other two sides are not given. So simply we should draw 60 degree from the above a point on this vertical line and 30 degree from the below point. So we will be having one triangle generated which is nothing but your 30 degree, 60 degree set square. So the intersection of 30 degree line from the below point and from the above point the 60 degree line which will intersect at any point this is nothing but will give you a triangle which is 30 degree 60 degree. So let us give the naming to this triangle as A dash, B dash and C dash in anti-clockwise direction. Then after let us take its top view on HP. So let us draw vertical lines from each and every point. So we will be drawing vertical lines from each and every point. So we may have this horizontal line which is nothing but the front view in HP. So let us give it notation as A dash, B dash and C dash like this. So after having this first stage drawing, we should find out the second stage conditions. So as your object is in this case resting in VP, so we should solve the condition of VP first. So let us find out the condition of VP from your patient. So here it is said that its surface is 45 degree inclined to VP. So we should draw this line that means a front view which is ABC line which is resting on XY now at 45 degree to VP. So let us draw this line at 45 degree to VP because it is showing the surface. Surface means a single line which is showing all of the points of your triangle or all of the surface of the triangle is known as a surface of the triangle. So here let us start with the point AB and let us draw this line at 45 degree and let us mark AB and C point on this line by the help of round. So after plotting these all the points, we should find out the front view above XY line in VP. 
So for that we should draw vertical lines from each and every points like this and horizontal lines from your triangle onto your right hand side in order to get the intersection point of your triangle. After getting this intersection point, we should specify these points by A dash, B dash and C dash. After getting A dash, B dash and C dash, what you need to do, you need to simply connect these three points in alphabetical order in order to get this triangle in your second stage. We have just completed the second stage drawing. Now let us move to a third and final stage drawing. So let us understand the condition from your problem statement. So it is said that a square of a longest side 100 mm is in VP and the same side is now at 30 degree inclined to HP. So we should make incline this 100 mm long side into now 30 degree inclined to HP. So let us draw first line 30 degree inclined to HP. So we know that below XY line there is HP. So 30 degree with HP means this kind of a line. So this is your 30 degree inclined to HP. On this side, we need to what? We need to put 100 mm vertical line. So we know that we are redrawing the image of your second stage. That means we should take the longest side or vertical side of your second stage, which is of 100 mm. So let us put that side onto this 30 degree line. So your triangle would be like this in your third stage. After having your vertical edge inclined at 30 degree, let us give the numbering from your second stage A, B, and C like this. Here observe that it is a front view that means we should compulsory specify dash points here by drawing into VP. So here I have specified A dash, B dash and C dash. Remember many of the students are committing mistakes here when you are drawing your object into VP we must specify these points by dash points. After getting these points we must draw the vertical lines from each and every point. So let us draw the vertical lines from each and every point. So while drawing the vertical line we can have this vertical line. After vertical line, let us draw horizontal lines from your previous drawing. So let us draw horizontal line from your previous drawing in order to get the intersection point and in order to get your top view. So after getting these points, we are having these points A, B and C. So let us connect these all three points in order to have your triangle generated into your top view of third stage. Very easy. So now let us move ahead and let us see one more example based on this triangle. So a 30 degree 60 degree set square of a longest side 100 mm is in VP and its surface is 45 degree inclined to VP. One end of the longest side is 10 mm and other end is 35 mm above HP. Draw its projections. So same example, nearly the same. So let us start. So first it is said that our uh, triangle is what? 30 degree, 60 degree set square like our previous example. And this side is same, 100 mm long is in VP. So let us draw the longest edge into VP that means vertical or you can say uh, left hand side. So let us draw 100 mm line on the left hand side or vertical in the first stage like this. So we have drawn this triangle like this. After drawing this triangle, what we need to do? You need to use 30 degree line from the bottom point and 60 degree line from your top point. After intersection of these two lines, you will be having this triangle generated. After getting this triangle, let us give the dimension uh, numbering as A dash, B dash and C dash because it is a front view. After having this front view, let us draw the vertical lines from each and every point in order to get the horizontal line on your XY line, which is nothing but the top view for the first stage. So let us draw the horizontal line as A, B and C. Here in this case, we have drawn this line certain distance away from your XY line. It is okay to draw your line certain distance away from your XY line or onto your XY line because it is not specified when to draw your top view, right? So now let us move ahead for second stage. In second stage, it says that the surface is 45 degree inclined to VP. So in second stage, what we can do is, so we need to incline this line at 45 degree. So let us uh, make this line inclined at 45 degree. For that, let us take the point AB on your XY line first. So let us draw this line, which is 45 degree inclined to your XY line. So we have drawn this line now at 45 degree inclined. After drawing this line ABC 45 degree inclined, you must draw the vertical lines from each and every point and also the line from a previous triangle, you will be having the second stage triangle drawn like this. Give the notation like A dash, B dash and C dash. So now let us come to a final and interesting stage. So it, 
says that one end of the longest eight is 10 mm of OHP and another end is 35 mm of OHP. So let us draw first a line which is 10 mm of OHP. So draw one horizontal line and draw another line which is 35 mm above your VP. On that line, let us first indicate any point B dash 10 mm above. And from there, let us take on your rounder B dash A dash dimension from your second stage triangle and try to put your rounder at B dash and try to cut this 35 mm horizontal line and you will be having your point A dash somewhere there. After getting this A dash and B dash point, let us draw in this by a straight line. And after connecting this A dash B dash point, let us find out this point C dash by a rounder. So what, how you can find out this C dash? So it is very easy. Take on your rounder B dash C dash from your second stage drawing and try to make one arc. And take on your rounder once again A dash C dash from your second stage triangle and try to draw one another arc to cut the previously drawn arc. By the intersection of these two arcs, you will be having this point C dash, and after getting this C dash point, connect all of these points, and you will be having this triangle in the third stage, which is 10 mm above HP and which is 35 mm above HP. After getting this triangle, very easy, we should draw vertical lines from each and every point on triangle, and horizontal line from your previous inclined line, we will be having one another triangle drawn, which is nothing but your top view in third stage. After getting top view, give it notation as ABC. So this is nothing but your final stage top view. So very easy, the change was what? The 10 mm of OHP and the 35 mm above XY line or H. Very easy. So let us move to another example. So a plate having a shape of an isosceles triangle has a base of 50 mm long and altitude 70 mm. It is so placed that in the front view, it is seen as an equilateral triangle of 50 mm size and one side is inclined at 45 degree to xy. Draw its top view. So here the triangle is changed to a isosceles triangle. So let me first tell you what do you mean by isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means a triangle having two of its sides of an equal length is known as an isosceles triangle. And in order to draw the isosceles triangle, we need a base and the height of the triangle. So here the base and height are obviously, obviously given, so we can draw the isosceles triangle. And uh, let us start drawing the isosceles triangle. So here it is not said that the isosceles triangle is uh, resting on HP or VP or it is resting on its uh, base or it is resting on its corner. So how to select? How to place this isosceles triangle into your drawing? So it is obvious that it is said that it's uh, uh, in the next stage, its front view is seen as an equilateral triangle. If the front view is seen as a triangle in second stage, that must specify that your first isosceles triangle must be placed into your VP in order to get your front view into your second stage. So whenever it is said that your front view is in VP, that means that if the front view is a triangular shape in VP, which suggests that your object must be placed into VP itself. So we must place the object into VP itself. And why we have placed the object in VP? You know the reason. So let us place the object in VP onto its base. So I have put the uh, isosceles triangle on its base in VP. So let us draw the isosceles triangle on its base like this. So 50 mm vertical line or you can say the 50 mm line you should put on the left hand side. After drawing this 50 mm line let us find out its midpoint. From midpoint let us draw the height of this triangle which is what 70 mm. So from this midpoint we will be drawing one vertical line, one horizontal line of 70 mm. At the end of 70 mm let us find out and uh, locate the point C dash. After getting this point C dash let us connect C dash, A dash and B dash. We will be having triangle as generated in your first day. After getting this triangle, let us draw a vertical line from each of the points in you know, order to get the horizontal line of top view in HP. So we have drawn the horizontal line of A, B and C, 70 mm long. So then after what it says that, it is said that your front view looks like an equilateral triangle of 50 by 50 mm side. So we are talking about this front view triangle which is an equilateral triangle of 50 by 50 sides. So how to get this triangle? So first of all, let us draw the horizontal lines from your first triangle. So first three triangle, I will be drawing horizontal line from A dash and B dash. So let us mark point B dash somewhere on this line B dash and try to draw one vertical line. You will be having your A dash. So we know that the vertical height of the triangle is exactly equal to the base. So we will be having this line A dash B dash which is of 50 mm. 
Now, in order to find out C dash point, which must be 50 mm away from your point A dash and B dash, in order to get the equilateral triangle, what we need to do, we need to adjust on our rounder 50 mm distance. So, let us first adjust our rounder to 50 mm. After adjusting rounder to 50 mm, let us draw one horizontal line from your C like this. And after that, let us put our rounder first on A dash point and try to cut this C dash line. You will be having this point C dash. And try to put your rounder once again on your B dash point and try to cut this uh, previously drawn line. So you will be having your point C dash. And while connecting your point A dash, B dash and C dash, you will be having all of the sides equal to 50 mm each. So you have your equilateral triangle generated. So now equilateral triangle is generated. Now, next question is how to generate this inclined line in the top view. So it is very easy. Let us draw one vertical line from your A dash B dash. So you will be having point A B of your inclined line somewhere on your X Y. After that, let us draw one vertical line from your C. So there would be point C somewhere here in the space. So how to find out this point? So if we try to draw this inclined line, we can have the location of point C. So how to plot this inclined line? So it is nothing but the uh, top view in the second stage. So to draw the top view in second stage, we must take the reference of top view of the first stage. So let us take the reference of top view of the first stage, which is of 70 mm. So adjust on your rounder 70 mm. Try to put your rounder now on your point A B on X Y line and try to cut this vertical line of C somewhere here 70 mm away. You will be having your point C there. After getting point C. Let us connect your point A, B and C. So you will be having the line generated which is nothing but an inclined line. So we have solved our second stage also. So now let us move to a third and final stage. So it says that one side is inclined at 45 degree to X, Y. So you can put any one side at 45 degree to X, Y. But we are taking the side A, B because it is a side on which it is resting. So we are taking this side. So I am taking A dash B dash 45 degree incline to X Y line like this in the third stage. So I have taken the second stage drawing into third stage. So I have drawn this second stage drawing now at the 45 degrees. So I will be having this as a triangular object. And after getting these objects, it is simple. You need to draw a vertical line from this object and horizontal line from your previous object. And after that, identify the points of intersection as A, B and C. And after getting these points, you need to join these points in alphabetical order. So let us join these points in order to get this triangle generated. So this is nothing but your top view in third stage. Very easy. So now let us move to another element. This is a circle. So for drawing the circles in examination, you might have the diameter of the circle given or the radius of the circle given. And you will be using a rounder as a tool in order to draw the circle. So let us begin with the first example of the circle. A problem number one. A circle of 50 mm diameter is resting on HP on one of the end point A of its diameter AC, which is 30 degree inclined to HP, while its top view is 45 degree inclined to B. Draw its projection. So here we are talking about circle, and circle is not having any sides or any corner. So that means you can simply draw a circle anywhere which is it is asked in your examination. So it is said that it is resting on HP. So we should start first with the XY line. So let us draw the circle resting on HP. So we have drawn circle below XY line into HP. Thereafter, let us divide the circle into four number of equal parts or eight number of equal parts, or you can say uh, 12 number of equal parts. I would suggest for your accuracy purpose, always divide circle into eight number of equal parts or 12 number of equal parts. If you don't know how to divide circle into eight number of equal parts or 12 number of equal parts, try to refer my previous video on geometric constructions and you can easily know how to divide any circle into eight number of equal parts or 12 number of equal parts. I would suggest always divide circle into 8 number or 12 number parts. Don't divide into 4 number equal parts. But for understanding, I am dividing each circle into 4 number equal parts in this case. But you will be using either 8 parts or 12 parts. So now as it is said that it is resting on end point A, that means your point of A on the circle must lie on the left hand side of the circle like this. You should specify your point A on the left hand side only. Then after let us give the notation A, B, C, D. Then after let us find out this, this front view on the X, Y line like this. So it is A dash, B dash, C dash line. 
So this is the line which is nothing but the front view of this circle. They have already said that the diagonal AC is 30 degree inclined to HP. So the front view is now inclined at what? 30 degree inclined to HP. So diagonal AC is now 30 degree inclined to HP. So we should draw the previously front view at 30 degree now. So we have drawn this line at 30 degree. We should transfer each and every point of your front view into this inclined line by the help of round. Always remember. Then after what we need to do, we need to just draw vertical lines from each and every point like this, horizontal line from each and every point like this and after that we should connect these points in order to get the final view as a second stage drawing. After getting there, let us come to a final drawing where Y stop view is 45 degree inclined to BP. So draw its projections while its top view is inclined at 45 degree to BP. So we are talking about the top view of the diagonal AC. So let us understand uh, the top view of the diagonal AC. So in first case we have drawn the circle with the true dimension. That means the first case your AC would be of the true length. But in the second case, as you can see, the uh, diagonal AC is shorter as compared to the previous diagonal. That means your second case diagonal is nothing but what your top view of the diagonal. So now you can see on the diagram that there are two lengths. In the first case, it is known as a true length. In the second case, it is known as a plan view. So here we are talking about the top view of the diagonal, which is 45 inclined. So we should use the plan line directly. We should put that line at 45 degree inclination. So let us put that line AB at 45 degree and let us redraw this circle once again by the help of your uh, rounder. So you will be having this circle. But here, no, it is not the circle, so you can't directly use your rounder and you can uh, draw this circle like you draw your circle normally. You should use the different type of arcs by a rounder in order to get these points. So you will be having this final view generator, in which note that we have inclined the plan then because it is as a top view. The top view is always known as a plan plan. After that, very simple, let us draw vertical lines from each and every point. So we will be drawing vertical lines, and then after horizontal lines from each and every point, so we will be having these points. So after getting these points, A, B, C, D, let us join these points by a smooth line. Since it is not an object with the sides or corners, we should not use the scales to join this point. This is a curve, uh, this is a circle, so we should join these uh, points by a free hand curve. So always try to remember in circle, we are not using scales join any of the points. So let us move to one similar kind of example and then after we will try to compare these both examples. So problem 2, a circle of 50 mm diameter is resting on HP on the end point A of its diameter AC which is 30 degree inclined to HP while it makes 45 degree to VP. Draw its projections. So as you can see first two stages are almost similar for this case. So let us see what do you mean by first two stages are similar. So here we are dealing with the 50 mm diameter circle like previously we have drawn. It is resting on HP so we have drawn the circle HP itself. It is resting on one of the point A so we have drawn the A point on the left hand side. So first we need to draw this circle and then we give A, B, C, D points. Then after we need to draw vertical lines from each and every point. So we are having this point A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. Let it say that it is a diameter AC which is at 30 degree inclined to HP. So we have made this diagonal inclined at 30 degree to HP like in the previous case we have done that. And then after we need to draw the vertical line from each and every point and horizontal line from each and every point like we have done in our previous case. So that is the case. So the first two stages are almost similar. Now let us come to a third stage. In third stage it is saying that its diameter AC which is 30 degree inclined to HP it makes 45 degree to VP. So we are talking about the diameter. So diameter that means the real actual diameter, not this plan length of diameter. We are actually talking about this true length of the diameter AC. So here in this case, we need to incline this uh, true length of the diameter AC at what 45 degree. So let us draw this XY line and let us plot this 45 degree rate line because rate line is nothing but what your true length. So here we will be inclining this true length at 45 degree to VP. After getting this true length we will be marking this point as C2 because from projection of point we know that the true length end point is known as what your point C2. After getting this true length we will try to plot this plan length because we know that we tend to redraw this figure of second stage into third stage in order to move ahead. So we should now take the dimension of AC onto your rounder, put a point at point A and try to cut this uh, locus line in order to get this point C. 
and after that we will be having plan when drawn and after on this plan when we should just simply redraw this figure onto this plan when and we will be having this circle drawn into this plan when so this is nothing but your circle so now after getting this circle the next step is very easy you should draw the vertical lines on each and every point and horizontal lines on each and every point in order to get the points of intersection a dash b dash c dash and after getting these points a dash b dash and c dash you need to just simply join and connect these points by a smooth curve you will be having this circle generated so what is the difference let us observe the difference so here the difference in the first case was we need to just take the top view inclined 45 degree so we have directly used the plan length and we have made plan length inclined 45 degree but in our final case what is given here the diameter ag which is 30 inclined to hp it makes 45 degree to bp so we are actually talking about the real diameter ac So we should take the real diameter, that means the true length of the AC. We should take this true length at 45 degree to your VP, and then after we should find out the locus, and then after we should indicate this plan length of the second object in order to redraw the second stage object into a third stage, and then after we can draw a vertical line and horizontal line in order to complete our object. So this method is also known as your plan length method or beta angle method. It is very much important method into examination. So try to solve example based on this method. So let us move ahead and let us see one more example based on this circle. A circular plate of negligible thickness and a 50 mm diameter appears as an ellipse in the front view, having its major axis 50 mm long and minor axis 30 mm long. draw a stop view when the major axis of a ellipse is horizontal so here we are talking about a circle so we need to first draw one circle with a 50 mm as a diameter but it appears as ellipse in the front view that means here it is not said that your ellipse or circle is resting on bp or hp so as it is said that its front view appears as ellipse so if the front view appears as ellipse in the front view that means front view is a view on bp itself so it says that your object must lie on bp in order to get your ellipse in the front view so we must take your circle based on this front view in vertical plane so now we are taking circle into vertical plane so let us draw the circle with the 50 mm diameter into vertical plane let us this in this case let us divide this circle into 12 parts if you don't know how to divide the circle into 12 parts refer my previous lectures based on geometric construction so after that dividing the 12 parts now we will be numbering as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash in the clockwise direction until we reach 12 dash then after let us draw the vertical line from each and every point so we will be having one horizontal line which is nothing but what the top view generated for first stage let us give the numbering as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 on the horizontal line then after let us move ahead and let us see next thing as your object is resting on vp we must check the condition for vp first so here it is said that ellipse appears as a front view having the major axis 50 mm and minor axis 30 mm long so front view is what the view generated in vp that means the data for vp is given in the form of front view so we should first find out the front view because it is a view generated on vp So in order to get the front view, what is the dimension of front view is given? So it is a 50 mm long, major axis and minor axis 30 mm long. So this kind of ellipse we want. So what to do? So let us draw first horizontal line from four number point and ten number point. So we know that the difference between distance between four number point and ten number point is nothing but the diameter of circle, which is 50. So it is fixed that the vertical distance between four and ten must be your 50 mm. it can be changed because we might be drawing horizontal lines from their points and we might be uh, generating ellipses on them so its minor axis must be your axis points 1 dash and 7 dash so we should make any how the 1 dash and 7 dash as 30 mm distance so how to make the distance so let us draw one horizontal line from your 1 dash 7 dash from your first figure and let us take any point 1 dash randomly on that horizontal line 1 dash 7 dash on the second stage after getting your point 1 dash let us take out our rounders take 30 mm on a rounder put 30 mm rounder on point 1 dash and try to cut the 1 dash 7 dash line in order to get the 7 dash point on the second stage after getting the 7 dash point 
draw one horizontal line which is nothing but your what minor axis after getting minor axis let us find out its midpoint there is no major axis from the center in order to locate point 2 dash and tangent now after that we have got this point so next stage is what to in order to take the inclined lines what we need to generate inclined line in order to complete this ellipse so let us first generate this inclined line and then after we try to finish this ellipse so now let us draw a vertical line from your one dash point in order to get this point starting point of this inclined line as point 1 and let us draw another vertical line from your 7 point in order to get your point 7 on your edge so what we do is we will take the uh, dimension of the top view the horizontal line dimension from your first stage drawing take on your rounder and put your rounder at one point on your second stage inclined line and try to cut this vertical line of 7 dash in order to get your point 7 after getting this point 7 you let us draw a vertical line from this inclined line and let us draw a horizontal line from this first stage circle so we will be having intersection point as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash onto this ellipse and after getting this intersection point we will be having all of the points on the ellipse generated and after getting these points just connect these points in order to get ellipse drawn after getting the ellipse let us come to the last part draw its top view where the major axis of ellipse is horizontal so now we need to make the major axis horizontal so what is the major axis here so we have two axis first is one day seven days as you can see and another is your four days ten days so in order to make the major axis uh, horizontal so major axis means the longer axis which is nothing but four days ten days in our case so we should make the four days ten days as a horizontal line and we should redraw this ellipse by making four days ten days as a horizontal line so we have to redraw the second stage ellipse into this manner by keeping this four days ten days as a horizontal line after getting this ellipse it is very easy you should draw the vertical line from each and every point and horizontal line from your inclined line in order to get your final elliptical shape as a final top view of the third stage it is very much easy just you need to find out the ellipse in second stage and then after your drawing is very much easy so now let us move ahead and let us see an example based on your uh, semicircle now so it is a different case than a circle but it is more likely the same kind of a, a method you can use for your semicircle so let us see one example based on semicircle a semicircular plate of 80 mm diameter has its straight edge in VP and inclined at 45 degree to HP. The surface of the plate makes an angle of 30 degree with VP draw its projections. So here we say that our object is what semicircle and the diameter is 80 mm and has a straight edge in VP. So semicircle must waste in VP while having its straight edge either on the left hand side or you can say vertical so as you can see our semicircle will look like something like this so it is resting on VP and it is having its vertical edge on the left hand side or vertical edge is a straight edge which is resting in VP like this so you should draw an 80 mm diameter vertical line then after you should find out the center of this line and by using this center and taking the radius as 40 mm you should draw this circle which is nothing but 80 mm diameter semicircle after getting this circle you should divide this circle into 8 number of equal parts so let us divide this circle into 8 number of equal parts after that let us give the numbering as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash after getting this numbering you should draw the vertical line from each and every point in order to get your uh, first stage of view like horizontal line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now as your object is resting on VP we should solve the condition of BP first. So let us see the condition of BP from your problem. So surface of the plane makes an angle 30 degree with BP. So here we should make the surface angle as 30 degree with BP. So we should draw one line 30 degree just below your XY line and we should transfer each and every point on your top view 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 into this line by help of your rounder. And then after you should draw the vertical line from each and every point on inclined line and horizontal line from your first stage uh, semicircle in order to get this semicircle into your second stage. After getting this semicircle into second stage, we are now at the end of your third, we are now at the end of your problem into third stage. So let us solve the example for third stage. So it is said that diameter has its straight edge in VP and its incline at 45 degree to H. So we are talking about the same diameter which is in BP, which is now inclined at 45 degree to HP. So what is the diameter? It is an 80 mm long line, right? 
So ADM along like is what? One day, seven days. So we should put one day, seven days inclined at 45 degree to HP. So we should first construct on line at 45 degree to HP. Thereafter, you should indicate any random point seven days on this line. From that, you should specify ADM on this line in order to find out one dash. After that, let us find out the center of this line. And then let us uh, redraw this figure of semicircle like this. So this is nothing but a semicircle drawn. Now, after getting this semicircle drawn, so we have what we have done is we have just redrawn the semicircle from the second stage into third stage by keeping this one day, seven days for a longer age at 45 degrees. After getting this semicircle, what we need to do is very simple. We need to generate this top in the third stage, right? So we need to just draw vertical lines from each and every point and horizontal line from a previous inclined line. We can have this shape generated, which is nothing but a final view in your third stage. So there is no difference between your circle and semicircle, only your circle would be cut in half and you can have the different views generated as a result of your semicircle. Because persistence is magic, you will see the improvement as and when you practice more. If you like and enjoy my lecture, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share it with your friends and if you have any queries, any doubts, please feel free and comment down below. Keep learning, stay connected. Bye-bye.